Until recently, it was believed that DNA sequences were the only determinants of the characteristics of a living organism. We are now beginning to learn that inheritance is far more complex and involves many mechanisms that alter the expression of genes passed down generations. This effect on gene expression by the environment is called epigenetics. Imagine identical twins. They share their entire genome and so they are genetically identical. But after 40 years, they may have become fairly different in terms of their characteristics. For example, one may have been a smoker. This change in their lifestyle has had an influence on their characteristics. They are no longer as identical as they were at birth. How can this be if the genome can never be changed? Epigenetics allows genes to be switched off and on, leading to changes in the characteristics of an organism. The two main mechanisms of epigenetic regulation that have been identified at the molecular level are DNA methylation and histone modifications. Methylation generally causes the expression of a gene to be inhibited, and this is gene silencing, as a result of which the gene will no longer be used to create its corresponding proteins. A methyl group is an organic chemical compound. Methyl groups are mainly produced during embryonic development and their level is not altered during cell division. They are the cause of gene silencing by methylation. In this, methyl groups bond to DNA bases in the promoter sequence of a gene. This is the sequence that initiates the gene's expression. The second mechanism of epigenetics is histone modification. Due to the length of DNA, it has to be very tightly coiled to fit into the cells. The length of the human genome is 2 times 10 to the 13 meters. This is over 66 round trips to the sun. If the DNA is wrapped around these proteins very tightly, it becomes less exposed, packaging away the genes it doesn't need to prevent their expression. The histones around which our DNA is wrapped can also be chemically modified in many ways to alter how tightly they bind to the DNA. Histones can be methylated like the DNA itself, or specific amino acid residues on the histones can be acetylated or deacetylated. By adding an acetyl group, the histone protein loses positive charge, and so the DNA is less attracted to the protein. It will therefore be further exposed, increasing gene expression. Back to our twins. They've lived in different environments, and so the level of expression of their genes will have changed because of epigenetic marking, which is one reason why they have different characteristics. Incorrect histone modifications or altered DNA methylation may occur due to external factors such as temperature, dietary components, electromagnetic radiation, exposure to toxic chemicals and stress. So one of our twins is more likely to be negatively affected by his lifestyle. Cigarette smoke can stimulate the demethylation of genes in the lungs, which may lead to diseases such as cancer later in life. As a consequence, the smoking twin will have a higher chance of developing cancer in his life. But it doesn't end there. His environment may additionally influence his children and grandchildren. There's evidence suggesting that DNA methylation can be passed down as part of the parental genome through sperm and egg. This means that even inheritance of characteristics from the parents is more than simply inheriting the parents' genes. Though the gene's expression is also sometimes inherited. So to what extent have our ancestors affected 